Hey, Rethinkers. My name is Mark Fade, the pastor of our church, and I'm excited that you just take a few moments out of, our, out of your day uh, to listen to a, an update of where we've been as a, as a church in 2020 and where we're headed in 2021. Uh, as we come towards 2020, the, the end of 2020, some of us are just crawling to get there, right? Uh, and some of us were just kind of like, yeah, we got this, we're good, and then, you know, we'll see what happens in, in the next year. Uh, either way, I'm glad you made it. Last year at this time, I felt like God was asking me to become a more diligent planner. I went out and got an at-a-glance planner, started really being diligent about this. And then I'll be honest with you, March happened. And everything that I had been planning for just kind of like pushed back, canceled, rescheduled. Uh, that pl- that at-a-glance planner is still up in our offices. Um, and it just feels like it's unnecessary. But it's a reminder for me that we can plan all we want, but God will, God will be the one who directs our paths and our steps. And he's the one that if we, we want to go anywhere, we need to stay in step with him. And I'll be honest with you, as we are crawling towards 2021, I'm, I'm anticipating, I'm hopeful for what God has in store for us. And at the same time, I can't ignore the fact that 2020 has been a, a year of pain, a year of loss. It's been a year of traumatic and just, tr- just devastation for some of us. And at the same time, Heather and I have talked about this before, Heather, like, we see ourselves as the spiritual parents of Rethink. And, and as the people of Rethink Church heard about loss and traumatic events and, and, and devastation and, and people going without, man, people of Rethink Church also stood up and said, man, we'll provide mortgage payments for people. We'll provide utility bills for, pe- for people. We'll provide groceries for people. We'll do it in a socially distanced and, and safe manner. Man, we will provide all the necessary things. And maybe not every need was filled, but man, as a, as a parent, as a spiritual parent, Heather and I just look back and we are so proud of the people that stepped up and we're so proud of how, how our church has come together where there was a need that things got met. And yeah, like some of us as an organization of Rethink Church, our giving was dipped a little bit and we had to have some extra expenses when it came to um, going virtual. And opening our doors and in person, there's an extra expense and, cl- and, and cleaning costs and stuff like that. But man, it's been worth it to me. Those are, those are not costs. I see those as investments. To say, how do we keep this community, this, this thing of Rethink Church together? And not just together, just to kind of like stumble along, but together to say, man, where is God leading us and how does he want us to go? in this midst. In this season, I'll be honest, it would have been easy for just to, for me to, and there's been moments of this, don't get me wrong, for me just to sit back and say, okay, guys, just hurry up and get this thing over with, and let's just, you know, go back to normal. But I feel like God is leaning us into something different this year. And as we head towards something that is different this year, I think it's, I think it's this idea of how do we, have, how, do we <clears throat> how do we foster a movement of disciples making disciples? And just letting God and the Holy Spirit just move in and direct us as we, as we see fit. And what does it look like for us to use this building that we meet in as a launching point for that? To offer solutions to the community. To, to, to bring value to the community and in the surrounding areas. And part of what we have to do, and if we're going to do that, is we have to kind of lean towards uh, completing some of these projects that we have going on. We have partial projects that are like halfway done. We have phase ones of projects, and we need to go to phase two of projects. And so that's where we're going to be heading in 2021. It's not just so we have a, great, a, a nice building, but that we can use it to offer solutions and value and add value to our community that we live in. I'm so cr- proud. I'm so grateful. I'm so humbled that you would be part of what God is doing in our community. Through your generosity, through your prayers, through your service, through your acts of kindness in the community. Man, I'm so glad that you would just choose to be part of this. And I'm excited to see what 2021 holds for us. Not that, not that we can just survive it, but that we can thrive in this, in this, in this, in this year of 2021. Thanks for the, taking a few moments of your time. I'll talk to you soon. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year.